Hi guys, my name is Unumfeze Gumdambo, the lady that you can call Umfezi under construction. Now, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video would not begin well if I don't give my thanks. I thank my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for viewing my videos. Thank you guys for liking my videos. And thank you for sharing my channel. And thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So today is story time. Once upon a time, I grew up as a quiet child. Most people will say Ndandinga Papang. And only those who were close to me knew the crazy side of me or the bubbly side of me. And everyone else saw me as this quiet girl, saw me as this nerd, saw, saw me as this good Samaritan woman. I was good. I'd like to think I was good. In high school, only those who were close to me still who knew the bubbly side of me. And the rest of the school just saw me as a nerd. <laughs> After high school, when I was done with the high school in 2010, I fell in love. And before I knew it, I was becoming a mother. I was pregnant during such a crucial time. I would say a crucial time because Dandin um, Dombiasimhlangeni and it was during the time that we were supposed to attend the 2010 read dance. I just felt so bad that my mom was preparing for me to go for Umhlanga and my mom was like organizing and preparing and I felt so I was feeling so guilty and I just wrote her a note saying mama elukolo and this was ugea emhlange ni glonyak konakele and I wrote my apology and then I told her to read the letter when I'm out so she read the letter and um she was disappointed but she she made sure that she did bless me after that. She did say that she is disappointed. However, these things happen. It's part of growth. And then throughout my pregnancy, I would shy away because of the stigma. Remember, I was this good Samaritan girl and a lot of parents made their kids look up to me. So now that I've disappointed them, I've disappointed their kids and I just felt like I was such a disappointment. So I just shy away from the communities. I stopped going to church because again, I felt like I was such a disappointment because I was part of the youth in church. You know, the one, okay, Nandi Konza Ewesile. So I was part of the youth, Smeta in B and part of Ama Gildas. Those who know Ewesile would know what I'm talking about. Those who wear blue and white, Yes, I was part of those youth. So I was like in the forefront and Umfundisi and oh Mamfundisi looked up to me. I was like this good girl. So I just completely stopped going to church because I just felt like, you know what, I'm such a disappointment. And mind you guys in the black communities, when you are young and you get pregnant, you're not married, it's not celebrated. Okay, came a time to go on labor. I had my baby. I thought, you know what, after delivering my baby, things will get back to normal. In regards to community and church and some of my family members. Well, some of my family members did forgive me and accepted me and accepted the fact that I am having a baby. So I am now an adult because they always viewed me as the child. So I thought, you know what, things will get back to normal with family, with my community, with the church, with myself. Mind you, I had bigger things to worry about and to stress about post-potum. 
I noticed that my body has changed. I had these stretch marks, guys, and then I had the loose skin on my belly. And my mom will always tell me that, you know what, as time goes by, you will bounce back. It is normal. Every woman goes through it. So I was like, yay, I'll be fine in a few months time. And a few months down the line, I would look at myself in the mirror and those stretch marks and the loose skin would be staring at me like, we are not going nowhere. So I would just cover up and just shy away by wearing clothes that are not tight. I would just hide myself under a little bit bigger clothes, like my tops would not be as fitted, I wouldn't wear fitted dresses, I wouldn't wear anything fitted, but I would just go for loose tank tops, loose t-shirts, loose tops, and then just wear cover-ups, like I am now. <laughs> so I went through postpartum depression, I was annoyed, I was angry, I would snap, I would cry, and I really thank God for my family being around, my mom being around, and friends family and everyone that assisted and i am so grateful for all those days for all those moments when i needed help and it was there okay so in day and zeg i was and i had myself you know to look at myself spend time with myself more and that's when i discovered a lot of things about myself so I allowed myself to be inspired by a lot of women, including my sister or sister B. And I just I was just in awe and I was just just in love with how she was loving herself. And I was like, I wanna be there. I want to be in that space. And I would do whatever it takes for me to reach there. So I started to uh, run. I would just go jogging and then from there I just started gymming and I joined the gym and <clears throat> I started going back to church. I got in, in an invitation to another local church so I attended and that's the day that I received my Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior and I accepted Jesus that day. So from then I grew spiritually, I got to understand a lot of things and guys when I found out that I was pregnant I had a lot of doubts, I wasn't ready to be a mother and the thoughts that were running into my mind were not good thoughts. Um, as I learned about spirituality I had to pray and reverse every thought that came into my mind as when I found out that I was pregnant. I now sometimes wish that I had my son during this moment because I am happier, I am at ease, I am at peace, I have regained my confidence and I just love myself, you know. Thank you guys for joining me for today and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Stay blessed.